Good morning. Those of you who come along with me on my desert trips might be surprised by the little things that you learn along the way, whether it be ways to repair tires or things about cars or things about survival. Um, although we're not really in a survival kind of mode, uh, I often employ different techniques at different times just to show people what's possible uh, if you find yourself in trouble. So here's an example for this morning. I mostly use matches and kerosene and things like that for lighting fires, particularly for burning out the uh, toilet. Um, it, just because it's easy and convenient, right? But matches can become wet and you're left with nothing to light a fire with. I have a couple of different means that I can do that. One of them that you might be interested in is called a ferrocerium rod. This one's on a on a square plat. And this is commonly referred to as a ferro rod. It's actually made of a mixture of materials that throws a really hot spark when scraped with a piece of steel, back of a knife or something like that. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can use to make it easier to transfer that fire, that initial spark to some tinder to get a fire going. Often you'll find yourself finding yourself it's a bit too coarse, it doesn't really want to ignite. Um, you can, you know, rough up some various natural materials, but sometimes you're short of those as well. So let me show you a couple of tricks that you can use. The first one is for the ladies. Next time someone gives you a hard time about bringing your cosmetics kit along with you on a camping trip, show them this. What we've got here is your typical cosmetic pads, makeup removal pads, whatever you want to call them. And we're just going to grab it like this and we're going to pull it open. Before I do that, let me show you how this ferrocerium rod works. You can scrape material off it to make things ignite better. But the main way of using it is like this. Right, so it throws quite a hot spark. There you go. So the next time someone gives you a hard time about bringing that along, you can start the fire for them. Now we're going to use cotton buds, what the Americans call Q-tips. Same story. But just pull the cotton bud apart a bit. So, and scrape a bit of metal off, make it easier to ignite, and then there you have it. Now what if you've got some wet material? How about steel wool? Let's imagine this is wet. We'll use the less, less flammable part of it, shall we? And here is our fire extender, steel wool. Again, we can scrape a little bit of metal off the ferrocerium rod. Put a couple of dents in my ferro rod. I need to fix that. All right, and here we go. So. Very useful.